Hello, it's George again. Today I'm going to show you a trick with the Invisible Date. This has been used by a lot, a lot of people, including Dynamo, David Blaine, and Troy, and Penteller, and the rest. Actually, I don't know if Penteller used them because I don't really do card tricks. You just made that one up. Anyway, I'm sure they've used it in their lifetime because a lot <laughs> of people have. So, it works like this. I'm just going to do a simple trick, but there is loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of tricks you can do. So, the first one is, just think of any card, absolutely any, that I'm not going to think of, so not like the Ace of Spades, because it's a really easy one. Okay. But you can think of that one if you want to do it. Do you want to start out loud? No, no, just keep it. Okay. Just let it fall down. you pick one? Yeah. Okay, cool. Wow. Right, now I've got this deck of cards. That is just a normal deck of cards. I haven't touched it. You haven't touched it. No. Except for the name. Oh, yep. Cool, just name your card for the first time. I would like the Jack of Clubs. Your card has turned upside down. Magic. Your only card. Yeah, so what did you say? The Jack of Clubs. Jack of Clubs. I just opened this pack of cards like so. If I just spread through these slowly, there is one card that is going to be round. There's a blue one. Yeah? It's yeah. the only card? Is that your card? Okay, if you want to buy that deck, it's the Invisible Deck. Like I said, it's used by a lot of uh, famous magicians. Um, the links are below in the description. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to us on Facebook. Oh, fiddle sticks. Subscribe to us on YouTube, not Facebook. But you can like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And goodbye. Thank you for watching. Whee.